Good morning. My name is Mike. Welcome to the Tried Truth. Today I'm going to review a Jacoji Fine Jewelry purchase. Just grabbed a new chain and I'm also going to do a giveaway on this bottle of Versace blue jeans if anyone is interested in this stuff. Uh, I got it a couple months back. I really don't care for it. This bottle I ordered as a, as a tester so it didn't come with a cap or the original box so I'll ship it right to you. Um, and you should get it, like whoever wins, you should get it pretty quickly, usually anywhere from one to two weeks. The last giveaway I did, the guy got it in just over a week, I think, maybe right around a week. So anyway, uh, in order to win this, we'll, uh, we'll have you make sure you're a subscriber to The Tried Truth, my channel, and then we'll drop a comment below. And the question, <clears throat> well, the comment that we're looking for is, um, recently, uh, in one of Jacoji's videos, he mentioned that one day he would like to see Jacoji as big as Gucci, Tiffany, um, or Ver Versace, or even, um, uh, whatever, all of those guys, you know, Louis Vuitton, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, um, on that note, you as a Jacoji consumer, um, uh, and a lot of us, I think that's why you're here because you like Jacoji, um, or you just like Franco's in general. If you see the title of the video, it's about the five millimeter, 20 inch Franco. Anyway, um, what would you like to see Jacoji come out with next? As far, not just jewelry, obviously he, he, he stands for quality with his jewelry. So if he's going to stand for quality, and we want quality products, what would you like to see? Whether it's luggage, um, purses, wallets, watches, I don't know, whatever these designers tend to put their name on. Clothing usually, jackets, coats. How about a nice Jacoji hoodie, something like that. Belts, wristwatches, I don't know. Whatever you can think of, but just um, what would you like to see Jacoji come out with next? Um, I think that would make for an interesting comment and um, Let's just see uh, if Jacoji takes notice of that and maybe, you know, would move in the, that direction. Maybe it'll help him grow his business. I don't know. I don't honestly think he needs any help. But uh, I know he just he come out with the shirts, the hats. And as he moves forward, just as a consumer's perspective, what would we like to see him come out with next? OK, so let's move on. Anyway, this is the five millimeter, 20 inch Franco. And um, I had a four millimeter diamond cut Franco. This one is the plain version. And I had that chain and I told you guys before, <clears throat> you know, for my taste, I, I, I wanted a, a bigger chain, you know. There was nothing wrong with the four millimeter. In fact, it got a lot of compliments. And this local jeweler I deal with sometimes, you know, I drop in there and he polish it up for me or whatever. He, he always wanted to buy it off of me. Um, so a lot of people like the four millimeter. It just, I wanted something bigger. Then I got the six millimeter rope and it was just uncomfortable for, for working it. So, but I always said, you know, people ask me all the time what, you know, what would be my favorite chain. I told them the five millimeter Franco, I wish I would have got it originally. And anyway, I didn't. So, and, <clears throat> oh, by the way, for this, we're going to use random comment picker. Uh, so, like I said, we'll let this run for about a week, I guess, and we'll pick a random comment, and like I said, I'll ship this to you. If you're interested in it, you may not even want it. I don't know. It's pretty good. I uh, applied it a few minutes ago. It, it's got it going on. It's got, like, probably 18 notes in it. Uh, it's it, You can look it up on Fragrantica and then just put in Versace Blue Jeans. It's been around for a while, but uh, anyway... I don't care for it too much. So standard Jacoji box with the gold on there. Anyway, um, now I was going to get the five and a half millimeter baby curb and eventually I'm still going to get it. So, but anyway, what do we have here? We have a smash sticker and the Jacoji sticker and um, we have the card. Okay, here is the card. It is the 20 inch Franco, uh, regular Franco, not diamond cut. It is uh, 72.6 grams, I think. Yep. And it's 14 karat. And let's see, packed by, I think, Brandy. Um, anyway, so 
Guys, I'll tell you what, this is a pretty heavy chain. Make sure. Okay, so like I said, I've always wanted the five millimeter. Oh wow, this is nice. Okay. And lately I've been watching a lot of videos. The best one, I think, um, he did a Franco bracelet video, and uh, that is just a really good picture of what this plain Franco looks like. Because he's actually wearing a 20 inch, five millimeter diamond cut uh, Franco in the video. But uh, guys, let me tell you something. I, I really like this chain. Man, I really like this chain. Um, Diamond Cut, you know, does its thing. It's it's nice, but see, it, you know, it, it is awesome chain. But this Plain Franco is really nice, too. I'm telling you. Um, I don't know if it gets the amount of respect it deserves. It really is nice. It is a little bit more boxy, but it's not that much of a difference compared to the Diamond Cut. I mean... I don't know. Let's put it on and see. So it's got, you know, the Jacoji clasp on it. Uh, the, the, you know, it says Jacoji on there. Uh, very well made chain. Very sturdy. Uh, very sturdy lobster clasp as usual. So there it is, the 20 inch. I've been wanting this for quite a while. I um, And I picked this over the five and a half millimeter baby curve and that would have been 22 inches and you know i had my reasons i i actually shopped his website really well and i started looking at all the prices that baby curve is a pricey chain and the weight of it you know i don't know if you guys do this but i i actually look at all the chains i do the math i sit down weigh them out uh divide you know the the price of the chain by the length of the chain by the amount of grams of the chain and I kind of get the best deal that I can. I, I like to shop around, even on Jacoji's website. But anyway, I have a, a thin neck, so 20 inch is not a bad look for me. Um, and the five millimeter, it's just, I, I like this. I really like it. And I know the camera isn't the greatest. I do have better cameras, and I will do a, another video down the road of this chain. I just didn't feel like doing it today. <clears throat> not, not only that, anyway, let's just move on. Anyway, shop on the website. The thing is, this chain, I don't know why, but it had a better price per gram than the five and a half millimeter baby curb. I would have ended up with 54-ish grams on the baby curb. And with that price, it was just over three grand. I was looking at this chain and it was 72 grams and it was like 3,500. And I'm like, man, that's kind of a no brainer. I could spend four or $500 more and get that much more weight and I know it's not diamond cut, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's still a good looking chain and I just, I love it. Wow. I, I really love this thing, man. It's got a nice beefiness to it. Nice and nice and fat. And the Franco is just, man, it's just a beautiful chain. No matter, no matter how you slice it and dice it, this is a nice chain and it's gold and it's got a nice polish to it. And um, like I said, it's not diamond cut, but that's okay. It's still still got that Jacoji shine to it, and it's got plenty of weight. Um, I will weigh it and see what's going on with the weight. But like I said before, whenever I weigh a Jacoji chain, it always comes up exactly right. So, okay, it says 72.6. Let's go to grams. It's coming up 73 and you know that's probably because my uh my scale doesn't uh deviate with after uh one gram it doesn't go any lower than that it might i, I just don't know how to set it but uh, when i had the 24 inch four millimeter franco it weighed 66 point something so this this is the heaviest single chain that i've ever had um and guys i gotta tell you something it's beautiful and yeah, here's the five millimeter. If you have the bracelet, you know, that's what that would look like. Five millimeter, plain Franco. Um, I really, I really like it. And one of the, one of the best point of view with this chain is I think the side view. 
where it really opens up and you can see that that Cuban link type of uh, view of it. It's just really, really nice, man. Wow. This is nice chain. Really nice chain. I certainly love it. Certainly love it. Let me open up the blinds and see if you can see it any better. <clears throat> Okay, okay, yeah, that might have helped a little bit. Wow, this is a beauty, guys. This is a beauty. So heavy. Very nice chain. You know, the 20-inch the won't work for everybody. And I, I still like the 22. Shoot, I like all of them. I really do. I don't know if I could deal with an 18 inch, but this this is just fine. Got a really nice heavy duty, whatever you call this piece here, the end cap. Look at look how thick that is. It's a little bit better than on the four millimeter, I think. Well, obviously it's bigger, so. But this is extremely well made chain. I won't have to worry about this thing breaking or falling apart or anything like that. You never have to worry with a Jacoji chain anyway. But, um, man, this is just gorgeous, guys. This is gorgeous. So, yeah, if you want to win the Versace blue jeans, feel free to comment below. But make sure you're a subscriber to my channel. And um, just, you know, let's give Jacoji some ideas of, um, you know, what direction he should go in. Or what. let's see what's the most popular idea. I mean, pretty much anything Jacoji would be awesome. Um because, like I said, his name stands for quality. You know it does. I mean, his jewelry is always the finest. Um, just like his name, Jacoji Fine Jewelry. And um, if, if you want to win this now, I, I have others that I'm going to give away. I'll just do this one today. And um, we'll see how it goes. Like I said, you may not want it. Um, you may think it's garbage. And I don't think there's anything wrong with Versace blue jeans. I just don't like it. I mean, I'm not going to wear it. My son doesn't even like it. So, but that doesn't mean you won't like it. Like I said, it's um, it's pretty good stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. It'd be a good scent to throw on a no-brainer type go to work in or whatever. But yeah, compared to the four millimeter, this is um, honestly it's not that much bigger. Okay, the four millimeter is is already a good size chain, but um, <clears throat> but this is this is definitely a nice chain, man. Definitely. So this is the five millimeter plane. So you get that, you get that more smooth edge, you know, right here, really smooth. It points up the one way. And when you flip it around, it points up both ways. Wow. No, then the other side goes the other direction. So, but then, like I said, that, that one side that opens up the links, I really like that side. It's kind of cool. So, yeah, that's a good chain. 70, 72, almost 73 grams. I, I'm liking it. I probably would have uh, liked the 24, uh, I'm sorry, 22 inch butter. But here's something else. From the 20 to the 22 inch, it was almost $1,000 just for two more inches. And that's why I just said, screw it. I'll just grab this right now. I mean, like I said, I was in the market for the baby curb, which was around three grand, a little over. And um, when I saw the amount of weight I could get on this chain for a, about four or $500 more, that's why I said, well, I could spend four or $500 more and go from 54 grams to 72 grams. And then, you know, still get a good looking chain. The round chain, you know, I mean, the the five and a half millimeter baby curb is just a, a completely different look. Um, it wasn't diamond cut either. So that was part of, and I almost went with the Miami too, guys. I almost went with the Miami. Uh, I was looking at, but see, the thing was, the baby curb was five and a half millimeter. The Miami was only five millimeter. I was trying to look at the six millimeter Miami, but I don't think there was a 22 inch in stock. So I couldn't even really figure out what the price would have been on that. <clears throat> but when I stumbled across this, the price was right. 
The Miami was a different shade of gold than the, you know, than the um, baby curb, like that more richer gold. And um, this 20 inch Franco is kind of more of a similar color of the baby curb, I think. Not too positive on that. I, I can't remember when I had that four millimeter diamond cut, if it was the same color as this one. This is pretty rich looking, but it's it's more like that traditional 14 karat gold color. It doesn't have that orangeness that I think that four millimeter Franco had. I might have to go back and watch that video because I don't have that chain anymore. I wish I did, then I could compare those. But uh, there's no need. I, I still like this one better. I definitely do. In fact, one day I will get myself a 22 inch five millimeter diamond cut Franco. Um, but for now, this will do, you know, definitely. I definitely like this one. So this definitely made my day. So anyway, there ain't no point in keeping this video going anymore, guys. Uh, there it is, five and a half millimeter. I did weigh it. I'm not going to show you that. Trust me on that. It, it weighs exactly what it's supposed to. But uh, it is a good chain. I'll put it on one more time. It is um, super heavy. You can definitely feel that weight around the neck. And um, yeah, it's a beast. Definitely. There's that clasp. I kind of like that look right there. I like to wear it like right there sometimes. I don't know why. It gives it, gives it a little bit of character. It seems like, you know, a lot of people, it's almost like a crooked picture on the wall and they want to straighten it out. But, like, it just catches the eye. It's almost like a Figaro a little bit there. I, I just, I don't know. When I wear my flat curb, I, I always like having that part right there. I don't know. Actually, I'll put it up here on the side of the neck a little bit. Just to give it, I don't know, a little bit more eye-catchiness. But, uh, th you know, this wears further than I thought it would. I've been wearing a 22-inch um, uh, Jacoji curb for the last few days. And I just... I've been pulling it back to see where this 20 inch was going to wear. Um, actually, I have a two millimeter rope that's that's 20 inch. It's my wife's, but I uh, bought it for her. And I've been just checking it out, but it didn't wear. It kind of scared me a little bit as I was waiting for this. I thought it was going to wear funny, but uh, this one just wears right, man. This is just a good looking chain here, guys. It wears just right. So, I'm certainly happy with it, but you know how that goes. I I get a chain, and a couple months later, I want something different. But no, nah, this is this is good. I'm I'm happy with it. This will look great in a polo shirt. It'll show up nice, you know. So, like I said, uh, in a few days, I'll do a different video. I'll I'll put on a polo shirt, and um, we'll see how it looks then. I don't know what's going on with the lighting in here today. It's just kind of funny. <clears throat> but uh, I, I don't think this is showing up as good as I wanted it to. But anyway, th and this is my new Jacoji shirt, that black on black. This was the Black Friday shirt. And um, yeah, I think it's a good look, though. I, I like wearing my um, gold chains on a white tee as well. So anyway, guys, that's it for the five and a half millimeter. No, I'm sorry. It's five millimeter. Franco, 20 inch. So we'll see you next time.